So guys, the president of AGN, Emeka Rulas, has honored an interview on Channel's television. Guys, I want you to watch this interview. While watching the interview, listen very attentively, especially on what Emeka Rulas is saying. This man knows something. They are hiding something from us and they are putting us in more confusion. I want you to listen to what he said they are going to do to Adam Maluk and also what he said about other producers. After watching this video, after watching the interview, just do it. I have something else to say. Why would you be suing this producer? Why would you be going to court? Because there are a lot of infractions, very litigable infractions here, and the life has been lost. So when would your association be suing? And probably be suing, you know, the producers' association too, you know, for not reining in their uh, producer in this case. Because uh, I hear a lot of talk and I'm taking at sea as regards the level of negligence that goes on in this country. So we are now saying as an afterthought I that, uh, that, hang on a minute, we're saying as an afterthought that, oh, if they, are, they provided a dirty jacket or stuff, uh, the, will, the, the actor will have declined and all of that, whose responsibility was there to ensure that if every security or safety measure was not put in place. The boat doesn't move in the first place. Doesn't that fall on the producer? And that's what I'm saying. Where are the litigations going to come? Because, because I don't think if you guys don't sue each other, this will happen again. If there are no damages paid and people go to jail over this matter, this will happen again. So when are you guys suing? At least you'll be able to get to the end of this. I want to, I want to, immediately, I want to immediately let you know, uh, like Queen, the president of ARM, was just speaking. Uh, our lawyers are already preparing documents because this matter is actionable. Very good. Uh, I'm only waiting for the small committee we have set up to give me the report on all the things that happened. I also learned that not only the day that Junior Pope died, a day, previous day, they still went on the waters without life jackets. At least the video that Junior Pope uh, showed everybody on Instagram the previous day, uh, people on that boat wearing wearing uh, life jackets. So uh, I'm waiting for this report and as soon as I get a report now, our lawyers, we, the Association of Movie Producers will hear from our lawyers. The Adam Maluk production will also hear from our lawyers. The other day we had a, a, an actor who almost died on set because the producer hired a driver who doesn't have driver's license, who doesn't know how to drive. And while he was reversing, he hit the actor, Emmanuel Ayalogu. It was the guild that took him for treatment, hospital and everything. We spent millions of naira to get him back on track. And the producer was still saying the same thing that, please, please, this is not a profession for brothers or sisters. It's a business profession. If you're a producer, be a producer, put money down, make your film. If you hire an actor, pay him and he will act. It's not, I beg, do this for me, there's no money. So don't worry about that. We are okay. on top of So, Emeka Rulas, I've listened to what you said, and you said well. I know you are saying this because you are on channels television. When you come out of that room, can you do this, this thing that you said? Can you do that? If you can do it and sue the producers, it will be nice. But let me tell you, you are a pretender. You know every damn thing that is going on in Nollywood, but you are doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, I heard when you said that there was a producer who, who was producing a movie. And in that movie, there is a, they hired an unskilled driver, a driver that does not have a driving license. Eventually, there was an accident which affected a popular Nollywood actor. You mentioned his name. So you heard about it. Okay, since that time, what did you do? What have you done about it? Nothing. And there are other many cases which all these producers, especially in Asaba, they don't care. They don't care. They treat humans like animals you can make some investigation call somebody who is acting movie in asaba especially upcomers or any crew member ask them 
how producers in Asaba are doing even other places but let me just call asaba because that's where this thing happened for about and they are calling an uh, um this adam maluk is asaba producer all these crew members there are from asaba i know i know them i've i've stayed with them many times when i am shooting when i am let me say when i am in nollywood now but right now, I'm not sure if I'll continue with the acting. You understand? So, Emeka Rolas is a pretender. He knows that things are not going well in Nollywood. Still, he kept, he was keeping quiet. Why? Because he cared about the money only. He only cared about the money that is coming out from Nollywood. I have seen... Emeka Rolas once, one time ago, in Opanam, he came to uh, introduce something. That time, I don't really, uh, I don't really, I can't really recall what happened that time. But what I, I, I remember that there were many people laying complaints to him. What did he do? He did absolutely nothing on what those people co complain to him you understand so right now this thing that he's saying on channels television is for people to sympathize with him and uh, say that he's working he's not working anything uh emeka rollers need also need to be taken to court so while uh taking the producers association uh, of nigeria or uh, whatever they call themselves to court and also taking adam maluk to court they have to also sue emeka rollers for not leading leading the way he should lead yes so emeka rollers i appreciate what you said here if you can do that it will be good and if you can bring your eye down so look into what is happening in Nollywood. Most especially, most times, the type of movie you guys are producing now is annoying. Most people have been saying it that if a movie want to start, they will just look at the few minutes of the movie and conclude what the movie, how the movie will end. The number one movie producing comp industry in the whole world number one after uh, bollywood after bollywood please number two after bollywood then comes nollywood then comes hollywood i don't have more things to say